Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nurse Jenks, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how much money I make here on YouTube. So I made another video a little while back about how much money I'm making as a nurse practitioner. And one of the things I did touch on was how much money I'm making through YouTube, because of course that's one of my income streams. And that was supplemented with Hearst as an affiliate program to kind of wrap up the amount that I make with Nurse Jenks in general. Specific to this video, I wanted to focus really in on YouTube and tell you guys how much money you can make. So if you guys have looked into this before, you might have gone on YouTube and said, how much do YouTubers make? And of course, maybe you've seen some videos where people have millions of subscribers, and of course, they're making millions of dollars a year. Um, so like hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on YouTube, ridiculous numbers, things that you and I will probably never achieve, sadly. Uh, and if so, I mean, good for you. You won the lottery of life. Good job. But for most of us, we're never gonna get there. And so it makes more sense to me to make videos about smaller channels, having more realistic numbers for newer YouTubers so you guys can see how much money can you really make on YouTube. And of course, without these crazy, you know, stories of these people making outrageous amounts of money and making their entire careers based off of YouTube, because that's just probably not gonna happen for most of us. So before we get into the numbers, there are a couple things you guys need to know. Number one, you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel in order to qualify to make money on YouTube. The second is you need at least 4,000 watch hours within the last 12 months in order to qualify. If you guys can get both of these things done, you can be eligible for the YouTube Partnership Program, which is what lets you guys run ads on your videos and make money from those ads. Now there are a lot of variables that go into this, and of course, you know, if you guys wanna make the most money, you're gonna to wanna to have advertising friendly YouTube videos and focus your entire channel on a genre that is really well performing. So things like finance um, usually do very well. And then there are other categories that maybe don't do so well. Of course, there are sensitive video topics where YouTube really doesn't like to put ads on any of those topics and YouTube will tell you what those categories are. But then there's other you know, markets that are just more saturated and therefore it's really hard to break through, not only just as a channel, but even then, there's just so many of those channels that ads aren't really high dollar. So, you know, obviously, you know, make a YouTube channel based on something you enjoy, something that you like, something you have a lot of knowledge. Keep it in the back of your mind. If you really wanna make YouTube money, you're gonna to have to have a YouTube money worthy channel. And of course, there are different categories of YouTube channels out there that will make more or less. You guys can do some research into those topics, find out where advertisers are more likely to wanna to spend money if you guys are interested in that. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the computer and check out some specifics for my YouTube channel. I'll show you guys a couple of different videos that are doing uh, you know, different levels of good as far as how much money I'm making, and you guys can get a better sense for how much money you make with how many views, how many subscribers, stuff like that. Alrighty guys, here we are in the YouTube studio, and uh, you guys can see right now I have about 7,235 subscribers, so this is going to be an indication of how much money you can make on YouTube with this kind of a subscriber count. Of course, there are a lot of variables at hand, uh, depending on like the type of videos that you're making, the audience that you have, where those um, people are located, for example, like what country of origin, like the United States is going to earn a lot more than if your entire audience is like in the Philippines or something like that. But basically, this is a, just an idea of how much money you guys can make with a subscriber count around this um, if you're in any kind of a similar genre as I am. So let's go ahead and go into analytics real quick here. And you guys can see that in the last 28 days, I've had about uh, 27.6 thousand views on all of my videos, and that has earned a combination of about $185.76. Um, so now if we break out the calculator here, we can take the total amount earned and divide that by the views and this gets us six dollars and seventy three cents per one thousand views. Um, so this is a good idea to see how much your channel is making based on your views. The higher or the lower of this number, that means the more or less successful your channel is based on probably your genre and the demographics of your audience. $6.73 is definitely not bad. There are channels out there that are earning far less. Um, some of them aren't even making a dollar per thousand views. Then again, there are channels that make this look pretty sad. They're making about $25 or so per 1,000 views, and clearly, those channels are doing fantastically well. Uh, I think those channels that are the most successful like that are in finance, banking, personal finance, stuff like that, um, because that is a very advertising friendly genre of videos because uh, advertisers think that they're gonna get a lot for their money when they advertise on those videos. I guess there's really high earning potential that come from those ads, and so that's why those videos make more. Um, so this is just an average of my channel is six dollars and seventy three cents per one thousand views. But we can break this down a little bit further. So if I go into, for example, my most popular video here, 
This is a video that I did on how to pass the NCLEX in 75 questions. So this video has had 88.2 thousand views and it's made $544 since it's been around. So if we do our math on this one, so this video has actually earned less than my channel average um, per thousand views. It's only made $6.17. So that kind of goes to show you guys that always like your most popular videos are not necessarily going to be your best earners, at least not for the traffic that they're bringing in. Uh, you know, these things do kind of vary a bit depending on the subject of the video. So this video is talking about what nurse practitioner school is like. And if we do the math on this one, well, first off, we know we've made less because we've had less views, but it's made $150 and there's been 13.8 thousand views. So this video has actually earned about $10.87 per 1,000 views, which is significantly higher than my most popular video. So the reason that I believe that this is the case is because this video is more advertising friendly. It's talking about nurse practitioner school. That's an area where you have a lot of advertisers who represent master's degree programs who are willing to spend more money advertising on videos like this to try to convert the viewers into students because of course they're going to be paying high tuition values to those schools it's worth it to the advertisers to spend a lot of money on these types of videos because they know that the potential for them to earn money on those advertisements is much higher. So that I think is why this video did better. And this is a great number. If my entire channel average could be closer to this, I think I'd be making a lot more money on YouTube. But that just goes to show you that the types of videos that you are making are really going to uh, potentially increase your earning potential or decrease depending on how advertising friendly your videos are. I mean, it's been around for a few years now, but I think we've only really been concentrating on making content pretty regularly on the channel for about a year now. And it's gone from under 1,000 subscribers to over 7,000 in a year, so it's grown a lot. And so has you know the amount that I'm making on YouTube. You know, that number essentially just goes up. Yes, it is cyclical, of course, you know, back in June and July, where it's more peak NCLEX season, I get a lot more views, and so I get more money um, than kind of here in the off season, things cool off a little bit. But of course, you know, over time, YouTube is something that you really build on. You know, your old videos keep getting views, they keep making money. So every new video you make, essentially, you just add to the the pool of videos that you have that people are able to see and every view does add up and as you can see you know my average is like six dollars and some cents per 1,000 views so the more views I get essentially the more money I make um, you know that might sound obvious but you know at the same time you know you want to focus on videos that have high earning potential and don't get demonetized um, because that's how you're gonna make the most money on YouTube. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you guys have learned something about YouTube, about how much money you can make on YouTube. There are a lot of variables that we talked about. And of course, you know, you guys can make more or less if any little things are getting tweaked, but hopefully this is a good idea of just how much you can make. You're not gonna become a millionaire overnight. Unlikely, but hey, this is good money on the side. And like I said, you know, when you include other income streams such as affiliate related programs, sponsored videos, things like that, then money can really add up a lot more. So don't just rely on the ads alone, although that money is nice, you know, there are other things that go into this as well. So guys, I hope this video has helped. If you guys have any specific questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to respond to all of those. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Both of those metrics really help with the YouTube algorithm. It helps promote this channel, helps promote these videos. So thank you guys, I really do appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.